Hey everyone, it's Krista from Colorado Custom Lures. I have mask face, sorry. Um, I just thought about doing a video on painting whopper poppers really quick, um, and I just wanted to show you guys a few techniques that I use to keep the whopper poppers clean and the lines good. So when I'm priming my whopper poppers, I usually just stick, um, you can do this with mylar or cardstock, but it's just a piece of cardstock with um, a slit cut in it. And um, you can just slide this into the joint and use this when you're priming and base coating it so that you don't get a whole bunch of paint gunk in the joint. Um, and then I also tape my tails. So this has painter's tape on it. And I just tape right along the edge just to keep a clean line because the, the tails, when they bend, sometimes, um, depending on what kind of coating you're using, because they're flexible, it can chip. Um, and then I also tape right up to where the tail joint meets um, it, where the crease is, I tape right up to there and then this will tape onto the eyelet where it'll hold the tail in place. So as you can see, it doesn't move real freely and um, that helps when you're epoxying it so it does not flip or, flipping around and stuff. But you can reposition it a little bit if you need to and then just pinch down on it again to get the tape to stick. So I just line the seam up here on the top. So you have the seam going all the way down from the front down to the tail, and then I'm actually gonna, I'm doing a pickle-toed whopper plopper. So um, this mimics a soft plastic design, and then it'll get, um, this will get coarse black glitter in the epoxy at the end. So I'm just wrapping this in a really fine mesh netting um, to give it um, a texture, kind of like scales, um, but just uh, to make it not look flat, but you know, textured to a degree. So I'm just going down the edge of this and I'm just clipping it. So you can use um, binder clips, alligator clips. I have everything. I have alligator clips, I have binder clips. Sometimes the binder clips will span a greater distance so you don't have to put as many on. And um, the less that you put on, the less you risk scratching your bait. Um, but you, you kind of just, it's something that you practice over time. You get a little bit better at, at positioning them. And some days you just have bad days where you can't seem to get it right. but. Uh, don't be too hard on yourself because um, even those of us who've done this for a long time have problems with that from time to time. So I always clear my gun to make sure I don't get like a big blast of paint or something. And then I'm just going across the back of this. And I'm keeping it light at the end so I don't have like a big line where my netting ends and uh, my tape starts. I'm just kind of fading it back. And then I'm hitting the top here and then just above the fin. Um, and I wanted to mainly show you this video to show you how um, I prep my whopper ploppers because there's a lot of questions. People wonder, you know, how do you keep everything out of the joint? And um, you just, it's mostly just being really careful and protecting it. And then when you epoxy it with this tape in place, it'll hold it in place so that you can really just really carefully brush your epoxy around the, um, the edge of the joint without getting any in the joint. If you get epoxy in the joint, you're gonna have a huge problem on your hands. And you want to keep this eyelet completely clear, the end of the bait and the eyelet completely clear of any epoxy. So that will totally destroy the action of, um, of the tail itself in the water. And um, I also like to not paint my tails because I feel like you add weight to the tail when you put a clear coat on the fin of the tail, I mean specifically. Um, you add weight to it and it doesn't, it just doesn't quite spin as fast or efficiently in my opinion I mean that's probably a matter of opinion you can probably get it on thin and it'll still work fine but um this is a more foolproof way to do it and um I don't really think that it's going to affect it still looks like a really good rock walker and I really don't think that we should have mind a clear tail that they can't even see because it's moving so fast anyways um but as you know, as a lure painter, you're still into the fish and you're not the fish. So um, I'm just heat setting this and um, I'm not heat setting it to, for any particular reason other than to dry it faster. Um, there are certain techniques that you need to heat set for technical reasons, but this is just for speed. So now you can see the texture pattern that just kind of fades down. So I just kind of kept it dark on top and then light on the sides. So this will get um, a shad dot on the back side of the gill plate. I'll put a little dot here. And then it'll get um, coarse black glitter in the epoxy, which will give you my pickle-told whopper plopper that you can find at coloradocustomlures.com. 
and look for me on Facebook and watch my live show on Friday nights at 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, uh, Facebook Live at Colorado Custom Lures. Thanks guys for watching and have a good day.